realize you're sitting on a work of art? No, I didn't. But, all right, where is the work of art? Oh, the whole thing. Okay, I see. So these park benches are art. Or to be precise, the way they're positioned on the square is art. They were pushed together like this by Vietnamese artist Ron Tran, so that strangers might start talking to one another. It's an experiment. Kreuzberg is one of Berlin's hippest neighborhoods and one of the districts playing host to the Biennale and these black and white portraits of women. The locals are taking it in their stride. Kreuzberg is a rough, lively and multicultural district, which is why the art world now prefers it to the gentrified Mitte neighborhood, which used to be Berlin's main art hub. It's largely the doing of curator Katrin Romberg. Art can change reality, not in a revolutionary sense, but art can help you see reality differently and break out from established patterns of perception. Art can get under your skin and make you ask questions. This vacant former department store is serving as the event's main nerve center. The cloakroom isn't just a cloakroom, it's a work of art. But you can still hand in your coat. The organizers want people to ask questions, such as what's the relationship between art and reality? That might sound very abstract, but it's not really. The organizers spent two years traveling the world on a quest for both established and as yet unknown artists. They came back with work that addresses the burning issues of our times. Economic crisis, war, the collapse of systems. Take these photographs of Russian migrant workers who live on the margins of society. Much of the work takes the individual as its focus. That's what Nilbar Gures does. She grew up in Istanbul, and her photo series looks at the role of women in Turkey bringing together people who would normally never meet, housewives, single mothers, and lesbians. My role was explained to me by my mother, not by my father, not by my brother. My mother told me how to behave in public when I'm invited somewhere. So that's why I'm critical of women in my work. They need to change these patterns. Gürre's art is controversial in Turkey. What kind of reception will it get in Berlin? When the Berlin Biennale was held for the first time in 1998, it was one big experiment. The KW Kunstwerke Gallery in the district of Mitte is no longer the main venue. These days, the organizers want to find new, edgier places to showcase the work of up-and-coming artists. Or they opt for the unexpected. The Alte Nationalgalerie is hosting an exhibition of work by the earliest artist featured in this year's Biennale, Adolf Menzel. His drawings date back to the second half of the 19th century. So what does he have to do with contemporary art? Well, Menzel was a famous realist. His work reflected the major social upheavals of the time, brought about by the onset of industrialization and capitalism. His work is timeless. Our next destination is also in Kreuzberg, a row of disused garages. Scenes from everyday life play out on the monitors. For the last 25 years, George Kuchar has filmed himself waiting for tornadoes to hit Oklahoma. This artist is also a chronicler of his times. Meanwhile, in the former horse's stable opposite the garages, artist Cameron Jamie sends visitors into a sort of curiosity cabinet straight out of 1001 Arabian Nights. This ceramic stalagmite only becomes visible in lamplight. The playful character of this piece is the exception rather than the rule at the Biennale. The art on show at the event is understated and subtle. Much of it tackles uncomfortable subjects, throws salt on society's wounds. 
This is especially apparent in a lot of the video installations. Most of them feature documentary footage that lays bare oppression, war and exploitation. Like episode three, a two hour long film about the poverty industry in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and how humanitarian aid workers and Western photographers represent the situation there. Video artist Renzo Martins asks the sort of questions no one else is asking. What you should do is train them. My task is to try and, as an artist, to try and show how opinions are being created and how maybe a piece of art can dismantle that and uh, create more objective and truthful images than most news media could ever dream of. Our verdict? This year's Biennale is a success. The overall concept works and the video installations in particular linger in the mind.